that now in the years since the shooting, a lot of security changes have been implemented at Great Mills Senior High School and other schools in St. Mary's County. I talked to County Commission President Randy Guy about the new security measures and some recent threats at the schools. Commissioner, great seeing you again. What about these social media threats, though? Are you taking this seriously? Have you gotten to the bottom of this? Yes, yes, we are. And the Sheriff's Department is checking into it right now. They haven't got a final yet on who is involved, but they're working on it. It's been no threat to the schools, though. Everything is fine. The schools have been successfully going to classes and released already. Talk to me about security. Uh, we're at the one year anniversary. What's different for the students and the faculty there at Great Mills? Well, what we have done is, uh, matter of fact, all the schools, we have tightened up building security, the vestibules, put bulletproof glass and, and coverings on the windows. Uh, all the outdoor locks have been changed to more secure lock situations. In other words, you come in, the door's locked, you can't get back in from the outside. It's permanent. So, and then also, uh, we've also hired uh, school psychologists. We also have uh, additional security people we've hired and working on more with the rest of the schools, the elementary and the uh, also the middle schools. Yeah, that's that's impressive. I was going to ask, is it just a one school or just a three schools? Uh, We're doing all of them. We're doing all of them. Uh, the commission immediately put an extra million dollars towards the uh, might say the hardening of the schools immediately. And that's going to all the schools. The high schools have all been done. Uh, about half the middle schools have been done. So they're slowly getting them all done now. And uh, we should be done by the end of this year. Is this something you would recommend throughout the state of Maryland? Well, definitely hardening of the schools is important. And then uh, we're also working to make sure that we've got good communication between all the teachers and the front offices by using some kind of a mobile device that they might wear have immediate input. And uh, that's another phase that we're also working on. I might say not really security officers in all the school, but some type of security person in the school that will be constantly monitoring and checking the hallways, the outside area, et cetera. And so that's, that's being worked on right now. Yeah, Commissioner Guy, that's good information. Uh, give, give our best to, to all the students and faculty and all of our friends out there in St. Mary's County. We will, and uh, believe me, uh, we believe in the safety of our students like anyone, and uh, we're doing everything we can to make a good, safe environment. St. Mary's County Sheriff's Department has released a statement on this week's social media threats. They say they're working with St. Mary's County Public Schools to determine the origin of these threats, the credibility of the threats, and to ensure the safety of St. Mary's County students and faculty. Now, anybody with information should, of course, call police 301-475-8008.